welcome students so today we will do two programs and the programs will be the first program is converting a decimal number into binary okay so already we know the process how to do it how to uh, do that uh, theoretically now we are doing, going to develop a program by which we are going to accept a number from the user and uh, we are going to convert that into a binary so decimal into binary is the first program and then we are going to do another program that is a reverse of that that is binary to decimal so these are the two interesting programs for today so here we go so the first program that we are going to do is decimal to binary so let us accept a number n and i'm going to say int input and uh, we are assuming that we are going to take some whole numbers okay let us give a nice message that enter enter decimal number like so and then what i'm going to do is we are going to come up with the logic now what we do for converting a decimal number into binary what we do is we divide that number okay we keep on dividing the number by 2 right so i'm going to say while and not equal to 0 that's the first condition and now you can see that the usability of while loop right so if you talk about this particular situation i have to use a while loop because i don't know how many iterations it is going to go so i require this condition so till this condition gets satisfied i'm going to make use you know this loop is going to go and for that purpose i require a while loop and not a for loop so while loop and then the condition and not equal to zero then what we need to do is i'm going to collect the i'm going to collect the uh, the remainder part in the variable that is temp so i'm going to say n mod and 2 if i'm not wrong right m n mod 2 and i'm going to have the remainder in the variable that is temp and uh, let us define a variable that is okay final value is equal to zero or you can take as something like sum is equal to zero even that is okay and then i'm going to say final value plus equal to which means final value equal to final value plus and uh, okay so i require that is from the bottom to up approach isn't it so what i'm going to do is if i do this like this that is sum is equal to final value into 10 plus 10 and okay we will see this okay if this works or not and uh, then the, this is the same logic that we did for uh, reversing the number then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say n is equal to n and the floor division 2 okay and now let me just see what output we get that is the final value let me check the program now so i'm going to say decimal dot by and uh, i'm going to say like 10 okay and if it is 10 so it is basically what it is doing is you know we do not have the zero so zero one zero one basically uh, let me give the value that is uh, 2 so if it is 2 so it is um, you know 1 and 2 so it will not show 0 okay so what we can do is we can come up with an another logic and the logic 
is uh, we need to okay so that will be bottom to up approach so if I use print out here so that is going to print temp but I need a bottom up approach okay we are uh, we'll just see how this works and if I run this and I give the value that is uh, 10 and it says uh, 0 okay now this is 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 so I think this is right uh, no this is not right okay so this is like bottom up isn't it so that is one zero one zero and uh, that will make it as 10 okay so I'm going to have this value as last okay so what we need to do is uh, we need to okay use a list out here now this is something that I haven't taught you but uh, right now I'm using this because we need to collect the elements in a list and I'm going to show you how this works like okay and I say L and over here I'm going to say temp okay looks good to me and now if I say something like 10 and so we have a 0 1 0 1 so that is 1 2 4 so this is basically in a reverse way so I'm going to use something like a reverse out here and now if I run this that is the function and uh, now if I say 10 and it is okay L dot reverse So if I say L dot reverse and then L so if I give 10 and uh, you can see that we got the output okay now uh, there are a couple of things that I made use of uh, in this particular code because um, we you know wanted to collect that and that is a bottom up approach that we wanted to keep and uh, that was the uh, the problem so uh, we had this approach so you can see one zero one zero so if you give any number out here so something like you know 16 and you can see that this is the binary representation uh, I run this one more time and I give that is 15 so if it is 15 it should be all one and you can see it's all one out here okay so okay you can come up with some better logic maybe not making use of a list now i have made use of a list so this is basically just going to uh, collect the numbers and going to store in a list okay so we have a separate chapter on list and that particular chapter we are going to learn everything about the list and uh, before i display the list i'm just uh, reversing the elements of the list because uh, we need to display the elements that is from bottom to up and that is the reason I did this and then I displayed the list okay and uh, this is basically just uh, adding that elements into the list now again I repeat I'm going to explain everything about a list when we are going to work with a chapter when, when we are going to start with a chapter that is a list which is a data type but uh, I made use of this over here but this is not the part of your syllabus so do not worry okay so that was uh, the uh, first program that is how to you know convert a number a decimal number into binary and then we are going to develop a one more program that is converting a binary number into decimal so how we're going to do that is i'm going to take a new file and then i say n is equal to int and i say input and I'm going to say enter a binary 
binary number and i'm assuming that user is going to enter a binary number if he enters some other number we can do the programming for that as well but let us assume that it is going to receive the right input input that is the binary number and uh, then for the binary what we do is we multiply the number from the right hand side okay so if it is you know uh, 1 0 0 1 so 1 into 2 raised to then power starts from 0 to n right it goes from 0 to n so how we are going to do that is okay so again i'm going to make use of the while loop i'm going to say n not equal to 0 and uh, then inside this loop i'm going to do the same thing that is temp is equal to and that is n mod and uh, this time i'm going to say 10 because i want the remainder okay the last from the from the right hand side okay and then what i need to do whatever we have in temp okay whatever we have in temp we need to so i'm going to say temp is equal to temp okay into and then that is actually raised to um, i'm going to say i okay so power to i so this is going to 10 power to i and what is i i'm going to say i as zero so this will be temp you know to the power zero and inside this I'm going to increment the i by 1 so the power will keep on increasing by 1 okay and uh, then I need to have one more that is uh, a value which is going to have the final value or I'm going to simply say final and in this final I'm going to collect the final value so final is equal to final plus the temp okay and then outside i'm going to print the final value okay so let me just run this quickly and if the logic is not right we will make it right i'm going to say this as binary dot py now let us run this and it says enter a binary number i say uh, something like one zero one zero and uh, we don't have a it's went into the infinite loop and because i did not have the code that is n into n floor division 10 okay that is very important now if i run this so i give 1010 and uh, it giving me the value that is a 3 which is not the right value okay so what went wrong let us just check so basically this was a uh, n mod 10 so i'm going to have 0 into 0 so that is okay so that is going to be 0 and then it is a 1 okay so uh, something that i really made a mistake that was uh, 2 into isn't it 2 into if I'm not wrong, 2 into that was uh, what is the formula? That is uh, whatever we have 10, okay, and uh, 1. So that is 2 raised to power. That is what it is, okay. If I'm not wrong with this logic, okay, I think this is the this is the formula, okay. So let us run this and if I give 1010 and now you can see we have the output that is 10 which is a perfect output. Okay, so let us give this one more time and let me check 10000 and it is giving me that is 16. Okay, and if I give something like 1111 so this is basically uh 15 right so you can see that's 15 so this is the logic and that was the formula basically so we just missed out messed out with the formula 
and uh, this is the logic and how i did this is i'm okay this was the same logic that we did that we used yesterday for reversing the number that is uh, dividing the number by 10 so we are going to have the remainder from the right hand side and uh, then i'm going to take that number into temp and then temp is equal to the number into 2 raised to 0 because the value of i is 0 so 2 raised to 0 and then i will increment next time so that next time it will be 2 raised to 1 okay and then this again we collect the the quotient in n again it goes check for checks for the condition and then we are collecting that you know the final value into the variable that is final okay so this is how we can uh, develop a program for converting a number that is a decimal number into binary and binary into decimal uh, just to avoid some confusion if you want you can put this into the brackets so that it won't confuse you so that number into 2 raised to i so i is 0 right 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 and so on so i hope that this activity is uh, clear to you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide this as a pdf file so please you can take this pdf file and um, practice it okay so for your exam again i'm repeating you have to focus more on the number system and python and for python the questions will be asked till the loops and that is for loop while loop and the break and continue till what we have done the questions will be based on that okay focus more on the number systems and python and then the, the other chapter that is the theory chapter has the low weightage so that is what we have for today so tomorrow again we are going to take some programs so that the concept you know of the number system as well as programming both will be clear to you and that is the reason i took this program okay so let us meet tomorrow again okay and with some more interesting programs bye for now